like a lot of us, we started playing with trains when we were kids. But uh, in my case, I had trains. I discovered girls. I gave my train stuff to the kid down the, down the block. But later, uh, I saw trains again and got interested in again. There are a couple of clubs because we have a standard that uses the same track no matter where we go. So we build the module with a piece of track that just snaps, you know, unsnaps and snaps together. So when I build a module, it's going to be the same size as somebody else building a module from someplace else. Every module can tell a different story. Um, but you can have a thematic element, or may, maybe it's more like a, a, a style. We all have the same two tracks on each module, but how we do our scenery is different. The buildings we choose are different. The trains that we would like to see running over them are different. We have modules that are faithful reproductions of historic buildings. We have trains that are faithful reproductions of trains that ran 70, 80, 100 years ago. But we also have, again, because a lot of our audience is that tall, we have a lot of things that'll catch their eye. Uh, bright yellow highway equipment, or you know, orange cones, or spacecraft with flashing lights. They slow down long enough so that while they're looking at this, oh yeah, a train goes by and they go, ooh. And I get out of bed at 4.30 in the morning for ooh. And that, that's the fun.